sorry this video isn't great and was thrown together quick because I had a few people message me on socials asking how I hibernate my ants and I was already in the process of doing it so this is the best I could do in such a short time. Remember I'm no expert, I'm just showing you what works for me and what I personally do. Hope it helps. Hey guys, today's video is going to be on hibernating some of my native ant colonies. First of all, you really need to prepare. I make sure that all my colonies have fresh test tubes and not filled with water so they, I don't have to pester them during hibernation and I put them all in test tube racks and then they're ready. Here I'll show you some of them. These are where my Lassius Nigers are at at the moment. All got workers and they've been doing really well, some better than others. But we'll have to say goodbye to these and we'll see them after hibernation probably at the end of February early March you can tell these are ready for hibernation because normally if you uncover their test tube they go crazy but they're staying in their little clumps with their queen they've slowed down a lot and they're definitely ready to start hibernating and here are some of my Lassius Flavus with their first workers these are doing really well. I'm not going to show you any more of the Lassius Flavus because I'm planning to do another video on them in the future where I've got a different amount of queens in each test tube and just see if more queens will lay, if they'll have more workers, if it will balance off at a certain point or just see what's going to happen. But they're all doing really well. Flavus are just so pretty. So any of the ones that can fit on the test tube rack will have fresh test tubes and they'll just be on the rack in the box. Now this is a Lassius Niagara test tube set up and as you can see normally this outworld is crazy with loads of ants running around. There's a quite a few at the minute because I've disturbed them but there wasn't any when they were on the shelf so they're ready to hibernate too and it's all about preparation again and I don't want to hibernate them in this big tub because it just takes up too much space so what I do is I'll offer them a few new test tubes because these ones have gone a bit off colour and then once they've moved in I'll wrap them up, put them in a smaller tub so they are all they can all still get to each other so they're not sectioned off from each other and then they'll be much more easier to hibernate and then while they're hibernating it gives me the opportunity to clean up their larger tub and get it all ready for them for when they come out in early March or late February as you can see this will take up a lot less space when they're all in and then the few stragglers that were left behind I just moved them one by one with tweezers or a bit of cotton wool and then when you've got the big colony with the big outworld what I do is I disconnect the big outworld and I'll attach a smaller outworld and my test tubes didn't fit in to give them a water test tube so all I did was cut one down with a bread knife just so it will fit they're really easy to cut and then I just filed off the edges and then this is how they'll go into hibernation it takes up a lot less space and then it gives me time to clean up their old outworld and prepare it for after hibernation and as you can see I've also did the same with my miracle colonies I won't show you all of them but I just got rid of their outworld put them in a smaller tub in their test tubes and then they'll be ready for afterwards then we need to put all our little pets in a box this one jumped in but he's not going to be hibernating unfortunately because he's crazy but this is my little doggy Rico and he wouldn't he would escape out of this box straight away the ants won't then I put everything into this polystyrene box and then sometimes I'll chuck a towel on it before I put the lid on and then I'll close up the box and then I'll put it somewhere cooler in my house and then I'll gradually move it to cooler cooler places over the space of a week or two and then I'll put it in the garage where it's colder and then that's where they'll hibernate and then every couple of weeks I'll open the box let some air in but I won't need to disturb them because I've prepared enough I know they've all got water they won't need anything from me so I literally just open the box let in some fresh air and close it up and then that's it and then I'll do another video when we come back after hibernation to show you how I slowly bring them round and do all their setup. hope you found some of this useful thanks for watching take care stay safe bye